one sound wave 884 here and it's that time of year again where we take our purchases from out the year and then formulate list and rank them to our favorites of the year and our ones we bought that we thought were just pure crap right so that's what we're going to do right here i'm going to give you my list of top five worst purchases of 2021 and happy new year's eve i'll go ahead and get that out of the way uh, this video is coming new year's eve night there's a little countdown and my best purchases favorite top 10 whatever is going to be on new year's day 2022 and i'll release that tomorrow um so what we're gonna do now i'm gonna show you my top five least favorite figures i have purchased throughout the year and these are the are of transformers of course and my rules for this video i had to purchase this toy in 2021 the toy did not have to come out in 2021 but i just had to purchase it this year so that's really the only rules i have for these videos all right so just kicking off the list at number five i really didn't want to put this here and it's really only here just to make a comment what the hell is this supposed to be this is soundwave from the Bumblebee movie, this is Studio Series Soundwave. It just came out at the end of the year. Excited to get that because, you know, I love everything. Soundwave! And did my belly jiggle with that? We will have to rewind and find out. So Hasbro had the Soundwave. No, he didn't transform the movie. And we're like, hmm. What can you make of this? Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Well, I can make Cap. Or a brooch, a pterodactyl. And this is what they have made. It's some kind of Cybertronian hovercraft spaceship. Uh, I don't know, coaster. I've seen someone use put a coffee mug on it on Facebook. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, they're being creative. Give them credit for being, you know, creative with it. It's just, it's, it's there. It's something important. And he's only going to be in this mode just for my video review and for this, <laughs> this list here. The figure itself is a very nice figure. And he might end up making my favorites. I don't know yet. I haven't formulated that list. But it's a very beautiful robot mode with a very awkward alt mode. Number four, uh, I might kind of break my rule here because I, I don't think I bought this. Well, I'll take it back. I think I did buy a second one. And people were like, why would you do that? That's because I had bought an upgrade kit, and I didn't want, if I ruined the figure trying to remove a pin, I had a backup. So that's why I have two. That's why I bought a second one at the start of this year. And But don't worry, it was on clearance, and it was still from the Earthrise. We were going to throw uh, this RC figure into the top five worst purchases of the year, just because, I mean, I have removed her. This vehicle here goes to the one that's up here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Uh, she has the Go Better Studios uh, backpack on to make her more uh, G1 animation accurate. Uh, her actual car can actually come off. And, oh, sh <laughs> uh, It's a nice figure in certain ways. It's just, it's a failure in other ways. So, yeah, this figure might perpetually be on this list no matter what I do or what rules I make. And number three. Kingdom Tracks. Now, I actually really do like this figure. He's got some dust on. Uh, I really do like this figure. And this one here in robot mode is actually a a good quality one. Uh, in vehicle mode, his tabs, his legs still don't tab in perfectly in vehicle mode. I think one does and one doesn't. It's in the review video. He's the one that's in the review video. His legs are actually very tight. They don't weeble. They don't wobble. And they don't fall down. So, this figure here is pretty good. He's staying in my robot mode. But it's such a bad figure that I have bought it two more times. So I have a Trax in vehicle mode, and this one actually tabs about the best in vehicle mode. And it's still not perfect. And then I have another one here that is in the flight mode, so I can have all three different modes of this. And this one is the worst for the tabbing. So it's just a bad quality for the tabs on the legs and stay tabbed in, in robot mode and in vehicle mode. And with the gappiness, the look of the feet down here, it just can look awkward in certain poses. And yes, I do have Road Rage. She kind of falls in with this list here as Trax or Road Rage. Uh, they both look really good. And Trax is always been one of my favorite Autobots. So I'm still happy with the purchase. It just has some uh, bad problems, QC problems. Uh, so it's not, I'm not going to knock it. I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm easily pleased. I guess that's a bad thing maybe. But I still really like the look, overall look of Trax. It's just some of the execution is off. Number two. I got this at Ollie's for like seven bucks or something. This is Studio Series World War II Hot Rod. I know this thing came out last year or something. 
Um, but yeah, this this figure is a mess in my opinion. The backpack here is just humongous. It really gets in the way in the robot mode. Backs of his legs. I mean, even his legs have backpacks. Uh, it so he doesn't stand. He doesn't balance very well. He falls. He's prone to tipping backwards. Also in vehicle mode to get this here to actually tab in is a pain in the ass. It doesn't stay tabbed in perfectly at all. It constantly is just coming undone. So. Uh, while the alt mode still looks pretty good, it isn't tab in good. And that's a problem with a lot of Studio Series figures. They don't tab in very well. Uh, he looks decent in robot mode, and that's how I've left him. But he does have problems with the humongous backpack on his legs and his back. Uh, and he's all over, just all over now. So you got to get him balanced just right. He stood! <laughs> he's balancing on his heels. He's not even on the fees. Lean back. And my number one disappointing purchase of 2021 has to go to Red Series Bumblebee. And a lot of people are like, Red Series, these are Transformers that don't transform, so it doesn't interest a lot of people. So these figures are not like as popular as some of the other ones that actually transform. But the Bumblebee is just a disappointment in other ways. Now, as an action figure, it's okay. He has enough articulation and posability and accessories that sort of can make the price point worth it. The problem comes in in scale. I know Bone, I know some people, again, don't really care that much about scale, but when Megatron, Soundwave, Optimus Prime from the first wave or the first series of these were following a certain build pattern, they were more slender, sleek, they, they looked, you know, more proportional. And then you bring in Bumblebee, who is just freaking huge bigger than prime bigger than megatron uh, just really puffed up like they just took him straight out of a dreamwave comic book in the first mini series extremely extremely humongous thick wide it just really throws the scale off and i understand they don't want to make a small in scale figure at twenty dollars that's going to be like to prime's thigh uh, so i understand that but what they could have done, and what I would have done, is made him a little bit smaller, maybe half the size, go right to a prime blue crotch there, and then give him more accessories, or maybe make a little spike figure that could be in the pack with him, so he actually comes with like a human character. Now that's something I would have done, that way you keep him in check, but I mean, to be this big, even if they just made him the same way as Optus Prime, more uh, sleek, slender, and a slim build, it would be a better figure in a better fit. Now when you put him on the shelf next to Prime, Megatron, Soundwave, he just stands out. Now even Cheetor and RC from Transformers Prime in the Red Series are more slender as well. Now Starscream in the same wave as Bonebee is also puffed up and bigger than Megatron. So again, he doesn't fit as well. But he's Coronation Starscream, so he's got all the gear on him anyway. So as a standalone figure, as a shelf piece, it's nice. Even with Megatron there, with the be puffed up with his cape and his other accessories, he could maybe slide in. But Bumblebee is really just a standout to this day, and why the hell is he so good? I actually regret buying this. This is really one of the only toys I've bought this year. That I actually regret buying. I don't regret buying the RC because I was able to do the add-on kit and still have a backup case it happen. And I paid like five bucks for it. I've actually tried to give it to my daughter and she's like, no daddy, it's yours. Even my five-year-old won't play with this big ass thing. You know there's something wrong. So that's my top five most disappointing purchases of 2021. Running down again, number five is Soundweb. And I'm not disappointed in this at all. I'm just disappointed in the alt mode. I mean, I'm pretty much just put it in here just as a joke because there's not really that many figures I'm disappointed in. I And I understand what I'm getting into when I buy, you know, Hasbro Transformers. So I'm not, look, got these high expectations going here. I understand it's a toy first, collectible second. And number four was RC. Number three was Trax, which I really do like the overall look of the figure. And Trax is always one of my favorites. It does have some disappointing quality problems number two is this hot rod figure just because i actually i don't regret it because i got it so cheap if i paid full price i would regret this figure uh I, I was never a big fan of the head sculpt in this guy anyway he just looks like a duck he's standing perfect and number one of course bumblebee it's a crap bumblebee decent figure for someone who you can give this to an eight-year-old and bash it around and i think you're fine with that
So that's my top five most disappointing purchases of 2021. Tomorrow on New Year's Day 2022, I will bring you my top 10 favorite purchases of 2021. So just stay tuned for that. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to click the subscribe button to the channel. And so thanks for watching. Until next one. Peace out. Who's your daddy, bruh? Oh.